second big reason for inflation is Vladimir Putin and gas prices. Not a joke. We've seen the price of gas go up over a dollar just since he put his troops on the border, on the border of Ukraine. They went up a dollar and five cents. Big part of that reason is Putin began amassing troops along the border and then crossed. And guess what? The world took notice. The market anticipated. Prices went up. And then Putin invaded. Make no mistake, the current spike in gas prices is largely the fault of Vladimir Putin. It has nothing to do with the American Rescue Plan. Back to Wall Street. Wall Street estimated that the — and the San Francisco Reserve, Federal Reserve said — analyzed it — said the rescue plan contributed only 0.3 percent to inflation. 0.3 percent. That's coming from the Fed. Rescuing our economy didn't cause this problem, but we're working to fix it. We're building this economy from the bottom up and the middle out. And something incredible is happening. We're seeing a manufacturing revival like never before. The pride that comes from stamping products made in America. That hold a minute, one of the things you should be aware of is a law I was unaware of when I was a senator, to be honest with you. It's called Made in America. As President of the United States, I get to allocate over $600 billion in spending on federal projects. Any federal project President for since 1939 has been able to say that entire project has to be made in America before I'm going to pay for it. Well, guess what? 53 per it was 55 percent of the product was made in America was thought to be made in America. I'm changing that. I'm changing that. It has to be a minimum of 75 percent, and then, and then. Because where in the hell is it written saying we can't manufacture things in America again? I don't know where that's written. And so guess what? Intel came to me. They're going to — yes, by the way, yes, the chairman of the board came. They're going to invest $20 billion to build a factory in Ohio to manufacture computer chips. Semiconductors. It will power the world in our everyday lives, smartphones, the Internet, technology that doesn't even exist today. And they're prepared to increase that investment from $20 billion to $100 billion in the suburb of Cleveland. So now, create over 12,000 jobs, some of them just building the facilities, but the rest Blue-collar workers making an average of $135,000 a year in these factories. 